with that trick. This is going to be a bit precarious. I don't know if I should be vlogging from here. If I fall, it's my doom. Without talking about <laughs> a silly little card trick. I knew this would happen. Welcome everyone to the Newport Back Bay. A nice lovely California day. The topic of today's video is Rick Lax's past, present, and future. There have been several reviews of this product recently due to its re-release, and I thought I'd share my thoughts too, even though they're probably going to get lost in the, uh, the mix of all the talk about it. The problem with past, present, future, as I see it, is that the trick is rather personalized to the point that you should, in this, that scenario that's been set up by this trick, give those cards away. When you say to someone, I've written on three cards what your past, present, and future are, that's very personalized, and you probably want to give those cards to them. But with this stack of cards, or this particular method, you can't just give these cards away because that would uh, deplete the amount of cards that you have in that deck and you would you can only perform it a few more times after that if at all penguin now sells refills for the trick uh, but that is going to cost you more money i would also like to point out that after a little bit of examination uh, you can figure out that the words past, present, and future aren't written on there. They've been printed on there with uh, a computer printer. When Craig Petty did the Matt test, that was something that Matt figured out eventually. Uh, and it, it just, it doesn't help sell the illusion I should mention that there's the potential for someone at Penguin to watch this and go, oh, okay, so we all just re-release the trick again, and we will leave the back of the cards blank, so that way you can write on them. Uh, no, that still doesn't solve the problem that the trick is too personalized to give away. And you don't... You don't write on tarot cards. Playing cards cost two bucks at Walgreens. Tarot cards can go up pretty high. I have just a, uh, a, a dragon tarot deck that goes for 30 bucks. It, it, it's just paper and the, uh, the design is like from the 1990s. It's, it's old and it's still a lot of money. Uh, so, tarot cards are really, for the people that have them, they understand how uh, cherished they are, and you don't just, you don't just write on them. You don't write on tarot cards. You don't uh, make a prediction about, a super personalized prediction about someone, and then not uh, let them keep it. And... If you don't know anything about tarot cards, and if you don't believe in them, don't, don't, don't pretend to. It would be nice if you could just give them the whole pack of uh, tarot cards, uh, but this product is $50 a deck, so you could in theory do that, and then they would figure out the secret when they open up the box. Um, or, you know, you could switch it out for the, uh, the full deck that they sell. Again, that's another $25 purchase, whether or not that's worth it to you. Eh. Instead, just resort to normal card forcing methods. Uh, there's, oddly enough, there's a, uh, in the 
six card tricks video with Rick Lax and Justin Fulham, there is a force that's taught there that you could use rather easily. And that's the one where you have, sorry about that. That's the one where you have the, uh, your force cards on top, in this case, three cards on top. You tell the spectator, just deal cards down into a pile. And after they pass the first three, you tell them, okay, now deal from the center. You can deal from the bottom. It doesn't really matter. La, 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 la. Then you tell them to deal the three piles for their past, present, and future, and boom, you're done. And of course, you've wrote a prediction beforehand on a piece of paper just of what the three force cards are, and that's something that you could easily give away. So if you have bought the trick already and you are agreeing with what I'm saying and agreeing with what other people are saying about it too and that something's just kind of a little off about it, uh, you can go with that method, and if you haven't bought the trick, you can go with that method as well and just buy a tarot deck. You could even buy the uh, the one that's on Penguin right now. That's really all the time I feel I should devote to this. Uh, hopefully this video isn't longer than five minutes or three. We'll see. Uh, I'll leave you here. See you next time, whenever that's going to be.